Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Well, it's probably a little early for me to be thinking about Christmas, but this idea came about and I'm putting it out there for you to join me just to have some fun in the Christmas Kindness Advent Challenge. Yes, I'm doing a Christmas Kindness Advent Challenge. So how did it come about? Well, I've done a few Advents over the years. I enjoyed the tea one because I love to drink tea. I bought some indie dye ones that have I've been nice, but not really me. I find it hard to find a project to go with them. And I like to open them on the day, not before. I like to get the mystery of the yarn. Um, and they're quite exy. They can be up, you know, more than $300. And my very first one was what Thing did. He went to my scrap bin, or my eight ply scraps, three weight scraps, and he put one a day in a bag with a treat or a gift for me to do a scrap rug. And when it got, when the 24 days were over, I liked her so much, I continued and made a queen size blanket that's still in use today and that still looks great and I really like it. So, the advent, the challenge came about because when I, if you watched my last video, you would know I went to a thrift shop and I found some marble four season eight ply in black really cheap good condition brand new balls too and i brought them home and both reeves and things said i thought this year you were going to use up all your marvel why are you buying more and i was like oh black's a good border color da, da, da. and they went excuses excuses so then we were sort of sitting around talking about stuff and they boys came up with an advent challenge so Yes, I did say I would try and use my marble eight ply. I haven't put much of a dent in it. They've still got this big bag of varying colors. This is an old Lion Brand mystery bag I bought years ago that came with yarn. And yes, I think there are extensive colors in this range of yarn and it does make good scrap projects or good projects. So the Advent Challenge, what is it? So every day I will draw out a piece of paper with our challenge on it. So organize your stash because I want you to use your stash or your scrap yarn. You can make a blanket, a poncho or a shawl. And if you're into amigurumi, there'll be a little amigurumi project on here every day. So this is an example. The boys have come up with a quote for kindness my glasses are fogging up because it's so humid, even with the air conditioning, it's just not coping today. So the quote, there'll be 24 different quotes, and this is just an example they gave me. When we are kind to others, it often comes back to us like a boomerang. So they will pick the colour yarn. For this one, they put this rusty coloured orange. I have to pick a project in Amigurumi that goes with the kindness. So I put make a boomerang. It's just a small boomerang. They have a six-sided dice and they've rolled the dice. So if you're making a blanket, a shawl or a poncho, on this it says you do one row in that colour. You can have a, a like a, um, a base row like black, but you do one row in that colour. Now, the colour match doesn't have to be exact. Near enough is good enough. We don't want you going out buying yarn. We want you to use the yarn. So there will be an advent calendar set up behind me and every day I will draw one out. I'll read the quote. I'll show you the colour, what the project is for Amigurumi for the day and how many rows for your bigger project if you want to do it. So the blanket poncho or shawl can be given as kindness to someone who you think who needs it or would really like it and appreciate it. The Amigurumi projects, you can give those away. Um, you can donate them to charity. Or the little Amigurumi projects, you see I used to do worry worms. I haven't done any for a while. And I used to put them in a bag with a worry worm and these and leave them in random places like at the library, our community book stand, um, 
community halls, anywhere I went for a meeting, I might leave one of these behind. On here, it says, I am not lost. If I made you smiles, please take me home with you. I am a little, your little worry worm. Keep me close, keep me near. When a worry pops into your head, hold me close, whisper in my ear, and we'll take your worry away so you have nothing to fear. Now, I can give you these in the description below of the first video if you want, like a little template you can copy, or you can Google one. There are other ones out there. There is the Random Act of Kindness Foundation. So basically, that's it. It will start on the 1st of December and finish on the 24th, Christmas Eve. Now, what you can do if you're joining me, and I hope you do, I think it'll be a lot of fun, is at the end of a week, you can take a photo. If you're doing a bigger project, your progress, or if you're just doing a, an amigurumi day, what you've made for the week, and send me a photo. Email me a photo, and I will put together a slideshow of our Christmas Advent, Kindness Advent projects. Because I think it'll be fun, and it's a little different. And it's, you know, we don't want you to spend any money. We're going to use our yarn stash. So always remember, the colour of the yarn, near enough is good enough. As long as it's in the same family of that colour, you're doing well. So pretty much that's it. I can recommend if you want to do a blanket, it's not too late to do, if you're in USA and Canada, to do a blanket for Boggy Creek. Um, by the time you finish it and pack it up and mail it, they don't need them till about the end of January. You can send it to... She's got yarn with Nancy or yarn the uh, yarn the yarn addict one the yarn addict. I don't know why I follow over his channel name. I really do. Must be the Australian. <laughs> yes, one the yarn addict are collecting the Boggy Creek blankets to the end of January. So, and forty by forty square would be perfect for twenty four day, days with different colours, and it should be fun. Now the boys have promised me, because the reason Reeves is involved, he's a graphic designer, so he'll be chip picking the colours, they're doing the quotes together, they're throwing the dice, the rose, and I have to pick the Ambergarimi project. And then they're typing them up, cutting them up, and they'll put them in the advent calendar at random. So when I will have a surprise at what comes out and what we have to do. I, you know, I just have to tell them the project. I won't know how many rows or what it is. But I think it would be a lot of fun. And it's just to have some fun. Think about others at Christmas. I know we all can be really kind and generous, but it's really important to remind ourselves occasionally really what Christmas should be about. Not spending money, not buying the latest gifts. Something small and handmade can often be the best thing to give to someone. So to quote Brenda Potty, when it comes to kindness, paying it forward and good deeds should be like Christmas every day. And that's what we're doing. We're going to make some little objects or some big blankets, big projects, and pay them forward. In the words of Morgan Freeman, how do you change the world? With one random act of kindness. So our hashtag, if you want to put it on your social media or on your channel, if you're a podcaster, hashtag it. Kindness Advent AU and I'll come and check you out, watch your videos, look at your social media and give you a thumbs up. So remember, there'll be a brief video every day for you to do something for 24 days in Christmas Kindness Advent. Just random acts of kindness during the 24 days and the stress of building up to Christmas. It'll give you some downtime and therapy to help you get through Christmas. So guys, I hope you like our idea. The boys were brilliant. It was, you know, we're gonna help you use that yarn up. So they've been through it. And they, and I said, I don't know if there's enough color range. And they went, there's enough color range to do two advents. So yes, it won't take a lot of yarn as in each day, but it will take a bit of thought about matching the color as best you can. And I hope we do get some amigurumis made because I really have, they've told me, they gave me the quotes and I've looked at them and tried to come up with a project that matches the quote. Hence, 
it comes back like a boomerang so make a little boomerang this is just an example I just thought it was classic they they gave me a color that boomerangs can be in the main color of the wood with lots of carving but yes just remember when you make your project your main color should be the color that comes out in the advent it should be in your project it doesn't have to be a lot just has to be in there to know that you're doing the random act of kindness Christmas kindness advent with us okay I'm sure the boys are interested in what happens because they're determined that I have to use this yarn up and yes I'm not spending $300 on an advent calendar I did look I just couldn't get motivated they every time the, the yarn was beautiful but I couldn't come up with a project I wanted to make with that yarn so this way I can make a blanket to donate to my Far North Queensland um, crochet for cancer in January when we take blankets along or a shawl or a poncho because we've extended the range now or I can do some little amigurumis to do around give around as random act of kindness it will be fun please join me let me know in the comments below if you're joining in have you ever done an advent calendar does this sound like fun to you I hope you can join us in the 24 days to Christmas remember first one out on the 1st of December Eastern Standard Time Australia so if you're in the Northern Hemisphere I could be a day ahead of you <laughs> okay take care stay safe remember to practice kindness every day bye for now mm -hmm.